Anyway, um, welcome everybody. And what we're going to do, we're going to take about uh, 20, 25 minutes to, uh, to go over some stuff uh, for internship. We're going to record this. Uh, we'll post it on, um, on Blackboard. And uh, we had a little mix up tonight. I'm not sure what happened, but uh, anyway, it, it is what it is. And uh, we're ready to rock and roll now. So um, why don't we start by uh, just, uh, can, you, can you unmute everybody and just have them say hello? Um, yep, hold on one second. Hey, how you doing? Hi. Who's this? I'm Eric. You. Hello. <laughs> this on there. Okay. Hello. Okay. Yeah, tell, tell us your name and where you're working. All right, well, I'm on there. Um, I just got hired at the Marriott um, Villas Fairway home. Oh, um, good, good. I'm going to work at front desk, at the front desk. All right, great. An air great. Right. Um, I'm Eric, and uh, I'm doing the uh, Chick-fil-A internship. with. Uh, I'll be working side-by-side -side with the marketing director as well as the hospitality <clears throat> to open the new uh, Chick-fil-A that's going to be on Fire Road. Great, Eric. Good job. Yeah. I'm Jessica. I'm going to be working with um, my sister-in-law at her nutrition store, helping plan all the events and dealing with the customers and everything else like that. Excellent. Excellent. Good job. Um, Brianna here. I'm working for Wawa, and uh, hopefully after this, it should lead me into their college graduate program. Good job. Good job. Yeah. Who, who, who else we have on that? Um, I'm Corey. I'm going to be working with Merrymakers Catering, um, doing sales, banquet serving, bridal attendant, and things like that. Oh, Corey, I'm really glad someone took that position uh, this year. That's great. We like yeah. Merrymakers. I'm yeah. super excited. <laughs> Anybody else? Can you guys hear me? Yep, we can hear you. Okay. <laughs> I'm Eileen, and um, I am going to be working with Little Water Distillery in Atlantic City, and I'm going to be helping them plan their events and um, doing part of their marketing. Distillery. And who, what's your first name? Eileen. Eileen, you know, my, my daughter, uh, Kathleen, she graduated from Stockton, and she is the... Uh, Maitre D at uh, Gordon Ramsay's in uh, Caesar's Palace there, and they were they she and the chef from Gordon Ramsay's and the manager from um, the Italian place at at, um, uh, at at Harris were all heading to Little Little Water Distillery the night we had that big storm last week, and oh, really? uh, it, it got closed. Yeah, so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell her to, when she goes back there to ask for you. Because uh, they were they were all excited about it because they, they they serve some of your product at uh, over at season. Good, great. Anybody else? And, and Amanda, do we have do we have anybody who's having trouble hearing? Um, Kimberlyn is having a problem with her audio. Um. Uh, um. I guess Mesh's turn maybe to 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 go off and log back in again and look for that thing and and do uh, internet, um, internet voice when, when the choice comes up there. Okay. All right, so if you'd, if you'd mute everybody, and then we'll, we'll if you want to ask questions, I guess, what do they do? Do they raise their hand, Amanda? Um, I can't remember if that's on this one, and I can't find the button, so I'm just going to have them message me in the chat if they have a question, and I'll uh, ask it. Okay, everybody got that? If you have a question as we go through this, uh, uh, just... Yeah, just message in the chat. I'm gonna mute everyone. Yeah, for anybody who's having trouble with the audio, log off and log back in and click the green audio button. But it, for those of you who can hear, don't log off, okay? All right. Um, All right, so here we go. So um, uh, my name is Bill Quain. I'm the instructor for the class. And uh, we have Amanda Inza, who despite my best efforts, graduated in December. And I tried to keep her here, but, uh, but she has agreed to uh, stay on to help me uh, with this class. And she, um, she's really good at, at, at helping us with this stuff. So, uh, and we have Tara Marsh. She's not on this evening, but 
you know, she's the internship coordinator for hospitality and she's going to uh, help everybody too. So make sure you keep up with things. So Amanda, um, I guess what we should do is uh, go over the, the three documents that they have to have and then, um, and then maybe go over the website a little bit and then answer questions. Okay. How's that sound? That sounds good. Um, uh, I'm let me blackboard. go over the Blackboard site, I should say. Yeah, I'm on Blackboard right now. Um, okay. So do you want to run through the syllabus and then go? Let's do, the let's do that. Yeah. Uh-huh. Please. Gotta cover the documents. And good. All right. All right. So the syllabus is open. Um, All right. That's internship spring 2018. Your instructor is Bill Queen with the internship coordinator of Tara Marsh. Um, this has both of their contacts information and their phone number. Um, class meetings. This is an online class with no class meetings. However, there are required instructional videos to watch. These videos will have all follow-up quizzes. Okay. Yeah, so we've we, we, we put together instructional videos. Uh, they'll be on the schedule. We want you to watch them, and they all, each of them has a little follow-up uh, follow quiz. It's, they're very simple. Uh, requirements. Each student will do 225 hours of approved hospitality industry work during the semester. Note that at least 25 hours of work must be at the managerial level or on a managerial project under direct supervision of the manager. Yeah, yeah. so, so you, you know, like, for, for example, you might be working at the front desk. So uh, you need to do a managerial product, uh, project. We have a video on that, by the way, for you. Um, that's not due until the end of the semester, but it's something you and your manager, uh, your supervisor, want to start thinking about now. Uh, the work you'll do for that will be at a higher level than maybe than the work you're doing on your job. So you have to, you have to put it, uh, oh, Lauren's back, great. Uh, you have to put in at least 25 hours of, um, of, of supervisory level work, and you can do that through your project where you're doing like a manager's, manager's type of thing. So maybe, uh, like we've had all kinds of, of really great projects. Like maybe you're, uh, let's say you work at the front desk, and maybe you're going to do an analysis of your uh, property management system. Uh, maybe you're going to do a training video for future front desk people. That's managerial level, so it's it, it's nothing hard to get to, but we just want you to be aware of that, okay? That's not a requirement. And you can talk to us, uh, me particularly, and we'll work with you, and we'll help you figure something out, okay? Um, note that the internship must occur within the time frame of the semester, which hopefully... I, I think everybody's okay with that from what I, what I understand. Yeah. Uh, there will also be mistake quizzes due every week. These are from Dr. Queen's book, available on Blackboard. Yeah, it, kind of sounds, <laughs> it sounds kind of funny. There'll be mistake quizzes. Um, I wrote a book recently, uh, well, actually it was last year, uh, called uh, You'll Never Get It Right by Doing It Wrong. And so I've assigned some of those chapters. They're very short chapters. I mean, most of them are four or five pages long. I think there's about 10 of them that we've assigned. And so you read the chapter. The book is free to you. It's, it's, it's on Blackboard, right, Amanda? They can download it from Blackboard? Yep, under the course content section of Blackboard, which under. I'll do in a little bit. Okay. And so you download that. You read the chapters. Uh, there's a schedule, right, isn't there, Amanda, when these things are due? Um, I don't think we have the schedule posted yet. Um, but they're all open to start now if, they, if they're okay, open. Okay, yeah, they're all open now. We'll, we'll get a, they have to be done um, at some point, you know, so you might as well get started on them. They're very easy to do. I think you'll enjoy the reading, okay? Um, do you want me to go through the eligibility criteria of prerequisites and course descriptions? No, because everybody who's on this call has, uh, has passed that. Okay, perfect. Uh, the HTMS experience, experiential learning sequence. Yeah, this is this. So this course is part of a four course series called the HTMS experiential learning sequence. And you guys are probably aware of this since you've all you've all had career development now. So the first one is your professional work experience, which you obviously already did. The second one is career development, which maybe one or two of you are co-registered in that this semester. 
uh, but most of you have already finished it. The third one is internship here, and the fourth one is uh, our policies class, which is our capstone class. So uh, it's it's a planned it's it's a planned sequence of courses to help give you ever increasing knowledge about how to actually work in this industry and make money. Um, so next are the required forms. Yes. Now there are three required forms. Is that correct, Amanda? Um, yes. We also talk about the student evaluation and the employer evaluation, but the required forms are the waiver, the learning contract, and affiliation agreement. Okay. Every, everyone in the class needs to have their waiver done by the end of this week because the waiver is just something you sign. Okay. Uh, do we have a link to the website, Amanda? with all this stuff on it, that Google website we did? It should be on Blackboard. If not, I can post it later, but I know Tara also mentioned that she reached out to everyone in the class with the forms. Oh, okay, yeah, she said just forms. We have a w website set up. It's, it's, it, I think the link is on Blackboard. We'll make sure it's there. Uh, we, uh, Amanda and I put together a Google website with the forms on there as well. So let's talk about the three forms. First one is the waiver form. All the, all the waiver form is 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 you're signing saying you know you're you're doing this course you're 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 uh you're not going to sue uh well you wouldn't sue me but you're not going to sue amanda if um you know uh the chef at work goes crazy uh you know it, it's just it's just it's just a waiver so you're going to sign that right away that has to be in by the end of this week the 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 um the second one is uh, um what's that what's the second one amanda the learning contract oh the learning contract that's something that your immediate supervisor signs with you again you need to have that finished probably with by next week sometime and we have instructional videos on on how to fill that out Th those those are available those instructional videos are available for your your supervisor okay um so they can see it Tara can help coordinate with that. And actually, Tara is the best person if, if you're having trouble getting your supervisor to sign that form. Uh, Tara is the best person to deal with with that because she, she really knows that and she builds up great relationships. The third um, form is called the uh, uh, learning, is it learning con? No, that's, we just did a learning contract. The affiliation agreement. The affiliation agreement. Now, every business that serves as an internship, um, uh, uh, employer has to sign an affiliation agreement but it's very possible depending on where you're working for example merry makers I'm almost positive since we had people there last semester these forms are good for three years so I'm almost positive merry makers already has a um, uh, an affiliation agreement with with us check with Tara and again she'll contact your employer directly you don't have to worry about this so much. She'll, she'll contact your employer directly, but you need to be in contact with her about that. Okay, so these, these three forms are very important. Now, there's also the um, employer evaluation form, which is due at the end of the semester, uh, well, close to the end of the semester, and that's when they said, you know, how, how well you did, and we use that as, as part of your grade for this course. Um, so, you know, don't run amok at work. <laughs> and, and uh, you know, threaten people. Uh, do a good job. Get a good employer evaluation. And and later in the semester, again, we have a video on how to get that done, what it is, and that's sent directly to Tara as well. Now, okay? Dr. Queen, are we doing the student evaluation form this semester, or are we not worrying about that? Uh, that's where they evaluate their their project. Oh, well, we'll get to that later on. We'll get to that later on. Yeah. Okay. Later this semester, we'll talk about that. Okay. Okay. So right now, you, three forms to worry, worry about immediately. The uh, waiver, which you've got to do right away. It's just you signing that. Second one, learning contract. If you're having trouble with that, contact Tara. Marsh, she'll help you do that. And the affiliation agreement, get on that right away and check with Tara Marsh and see if your company has it already. If they don't, you need to get that signed by your company. And Tara will take care of that for you too. She'll she'll deal directly with your company. Okay. 
Would you like me to go over the learning objectives and communication skills? Learning I don't think anyone, no, let's not do that because they can read that, okay? Yeah, the syllabus is available on Blackboard as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, course requirements. You know what, man? let me just pause here. Does anybody have a question about the three forms you need to know about right away? So far, um, Brianna Rolk asked about how we can check to see if they completed the forms, but uh, I already told her that Tara Marsh keeps track, so just get in touch with her to make sure that she Directly in touch with Tara, yes. Mm -hmm. um, so far, I haven't gotten any more questions, but if you guys have any, feel free to add it to the chat. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward, and Tara really does a great job at helping out with stuff, so uh, she's really your go-to person with this. Um, I'm your go-to person for any academic questions on this. Tara and Tara and I are in constant communication as well as Amanda, so we we really keep track of you. You know, we're, we're, listen, we're, 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 we want to make this as as foolproof as you, for you as possible. We want no surprises for you. We want you to really enjoy. This is a great experience for you. And by the way, I think you're really going to like reading. Uh, you'll never get it right by doing it wrong. Okay, go ahead, uh, Amanda. All right, uh, class requirements. Um, number one are the webinars and quizzes. Yeah, so you do the quizzes. We, we'll, we'll probably schedule a webinar or two during the semester just to check up on you, that kind of stuff. And usually we do a quiz afterwards. Like we might ask, we might highlight somebody who's working on the internship and, and have a webinar. And you can, you can attend that live or you can attend that, uh, you can just watch the video, okay? Very simple stuff. We're, we try to stay out of your way here with this because we know you're working. And, we, you know, we want you to concentrate on that for the most part. Um, number two, uh, create job tour video. Okay, this will be due later in the semester. Again, we have videos on this. You're going to do. You're going to make a video, and we show you how to do that. Um, and for those of you who have been in class before, you know how we make we make uh, um, uh, 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 what's that? Uh, what do we use that? What's the software we use for that? Screencast O Matic. Screencast O com uh, videos. And this is just going to, you're going to tell us about your job. And we have real specific stuff on that. That's not due for a, a, a number of weeks, okay? That's due like two-thirds of the way through the semester, something like that. It's, it's a little 10-minute video, no problem. I just wanted to give you a heads up, it's coming. Um, the LIRs, Learning Interaction Report. Now, this is really exciting, okay? This is really, really exciting. An LIR, Learning Interaction Report, and again, we have a video on it, but we're changing the format just a little bit. This is where you, you only have to do five of these in a semester. You post them on Blackboard. You post them like, you know, under your name, number one, number two, number three, number four, number five. And whenever you run across a situation at work where uh, something you learned in school, you're able to use at work, uh, we want you to tell us about that. And you have to do five of those in a semester. I'll tell you, uh, uh, we have gotten the most interesting feedback, and we're going to be sharing some of those with you this semester. It's really interesting the things that people are saying that they used at work that they learned in class. And some of the things have been surprising. Like one of the classes that comes, comes up a lot is facilities, your, the facilities class. Uh, so it's really interesting. Stuff. Again, very, very simple. This is like a, a, a 10 minute thing for you to do. You know, so you do the five of those in a semester. Uh, and, and, but it's really interesting, and we get a lot of great feedback. We're doing an article analyzing these things, and uh, so we're going to actually give you a form to fill out this year rather than just having your right stuff, and uh, it, it's an online form you're going to be able to fill out. It's very simple to do. We'll have a video for that for you, and we're going to be in constant communication with you by email and by doing webinars every now and then, okay? Um, employee evaluation? That's the, yeah, we talked about that. That's part of your requirement. And then uh, managerial level project. Yeah, now, so we talked about you're going to do a project, and, and, and you're going to work with me, and we're going to help you decide what project to do. Okay, so it's, so you'll be real clear on it. But, and again, we have a video on this. We have videos for everything, so there's no questions about what you need to do. But the cool thing is, Let's say you create a, let's say you do an analysis of some market segments. Like, I, I'm not sure if it was at Murray Makers, but some other event 
or catering company, a student did an analysis of some of their prime markets and how to, how to reach them and that sort of thing. Well, there's proprietary data in that. I don't want to see that. So the report you write is actually only that you write for your company. It, that's different. You're going to do that. And then you're going to write a, like a four or five page report to us, to me, summarizing what your management report was. So that way I don't have to see any private data. And this way your company and you could do some really exciting stuff. We give you an exact outline to follow, right, Amanda? Yes. It, it's, like, it's like fill in the blanks. It's really easy to do. Again, and, and that's the last requirement for this class. So as you can see, there's not a whole lot of stuff you need to do. You need to do the, 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 the forms in the beginning of class. Well, you got to get that done anyway. You've got to take some quizzes on the, um, on the chapters from the book. Uh, you'll never get it right by doing it wrong. Uh, but they're short and they're simple. You've got to do five LIRs, learning interaction reports. Again, they're short and simple. And this year, we're giving you a form for it. You've got to do a job tour video, no problema. And then you've got to do a report on your report. So it, you're not, we're not going to be inundating you with like meetings and all this kind of stuff. We want you to enjoy your job, do a great job there, learn a lot, and we're going to put some icing on the cake for you. Yep. Okay. Any questions from anybody? Hey, Becca. Okay. And for those of you who joined late, uh, text us if you have a question. And this is all being recorded, so you, you'll be able to watch the whole thing, okay? All right. Uh, Amanda, what's, what's next? I think that's the end of our the syllabus and then at the end it just is the breakdown of everything how it's all 20 percent yes um but they can always go back and look at that yeah so, listen listen every one of you should end up with an a in this class okay i mean it's it'd be I, crazy it'd be crazy not to I, yeah. I think i took this class the first semester you offered it mm -hmm. it's a really great class and, and, and the thing is, is, you know, uh, if you run into any problems at all, any problems at all, uh, Amanda, myself, or Tara Marsh are all available to help you here. Okay? So fear not. Uh, and for those of you who have had classes with me, especially if you have had classes with me and Amanda before, you know we, we, we go out of our way to remove, like, any um, – confusion we just we, we probably overkill you with videos and instruction on so that you know exactly what you need to do at all the time oh, uh, are, is there, are there good ideas in my book that somebody asked uh oh yeah brianna roke said are there good ideas in queen's book that i can bring to work yes there are but, but brianna but they're um uh, they're, they're, they're more ideas for you to, to succeed in life, okay? So, uh, you know, we, we talk about, uh, and I'll just, I'll just say something about the book right now, Brianna, since you asked. It's, um, again, it's called, uh, uh, You'll Never Get It Right by Doing It Wrong. And uh, it's one of my favorite books I've written. Uh, the, uh, I've, written I've written 25 books. Uh, and this is, you know, a relatively short book, as all my books are, because why write a long book when you can write a short book and make the same amount of money on it? <laughs> that doesn't, you know, oh, something I learned early. But, uh, for example, um, uh, what we do is we talk about the mistakes you're making. It should probably, because the, 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 um, uh, the subtitle is 20 Success-Crushing Mistakes You Didn't Know You Were Making. And, and so... Uh, a lot of people think they're doing things right, but they're actually making some mistakes. And those mistakes can cost you money over the long run. They might cost you a job. Listen, they might cost you relationships or something like that. Um, uh, you know, so if any of you have boyfriend, girlfriend troubles, you know, write to us about that. We help you with that. Uh, oh, that's, that's right. That's another class. So uh, you're going to get some ideas from this book that are going to help you in life in general to help you make more money and be more successful. Dr. Queen, not to interrupt you, but we only have about 10 minutes left of the free because I only have the free account. Oh, that's right. Yeah. 
So, um, yeah, we had, to switch, we had to switch our accounts tonight because uh, my account for some reason wasn't working. How about some other questions? No? Doesn't look like any on my end. Hey. Let's, let's cut it off there then because uh, uh, I don't want to miss Modern Family uh, uh, on TV. <laughs> it's Wednesday night. Uh, my big night for uh, my half hour of watching Modern Family on TV because uh, I don't know how to uh, I don't know how to binge watch and uh, record it. Anyway, listen, everybody, so happy to have you in class. Welcome, 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 and um, uh, we're just so proud of you all for doing so well. And let's make it a great semester, okay? <laughs>